Hi guys, welcome back to part two of doing two-way ANOVA in Google Sheets. We started with this laundry detergent and water temperature study, laundry experiment, and we determined that this is a two-way ANOVA with replications. We used the Excel Miner tool pack to perform a two-way ANOVA with replications and we got this output over here. And this output had a summary section which we discussed and an ANOVA section which we used to answer the three hypothesis tests for our two-way ANOVA. Namely, the in is there interaction? Are either of the factors significant? and we found out that actually there was interaction and that both of our main effects were significant. Okay, we want to focus on the interaction now and to help us better understand the interaction we're going to create a cell means plot and that's the point of this video. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of work before we insert a chart but this will make our lives a lot easier. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the levels for my from the I'm going to use a summary output okay so I'm going to take the all the levels for detergent and throw them over on the side somewhere where I have some empty space then I'm going to take all the levels of water temperature and throw them down the column so I'm getting something very similar, if you notice so far, to the structure of my original data here. Except as you see here, I don't have th I'm not going to have three replications. What I'm going to put at detergent A cold is not all three values, but the average value for detergent A cold, 43.33. And I'm going to do that for all of the others as well. Instead of putting all the values, I'm going to put only the averages. So these numbers that I'm circling here are going to end up in the body of this little table I'm doing here. Okay, this is a setup so that the chart becomes much more seamless. Okay, so to do this, just be very careful. You can, if you want to copy and paste instead of type, just be careful you're getting the right thing. This is cold, so this was all for cold, what I just copied. By the way, I'm doing control C and control V as copy and paste. Then for warm, right, I'm going to copy these guys. They're lined up with the detergents up here, so I'm going to control C, control V. And finally, for hot, I'm going to bring these guys lined up perfectly already so just highlight them make sure you're highlighting average and not variance bring these all in here <clears throat> okay and yeah this formatting you could clean up a bit but what you're going to what we're going to do here is take this now and uh, create a um, line chart so to do this let's let's highlight this whole table okay Okay, once this is highlighted, this should make our life a lot easier. We're going to go to Insert, then Chart, and we're going to choose a line chart. It, it, uh, Google Sheets might make some recommendations for us. We don't want the recommendations. Go to Chart Types, okay, uncheck these guys for now <clears throat> and then choose line okay this may all take a second alright now say switch rows and columns okay and you see it's starting to look like what we might want and we just need a our legend here to have some labels those labels should be hot cold those are the water temperatures because the detergents are down here right so we're going to use column M 
um, as headers. For you, it might be another column, but as long as you set up your data the way I did before and highlighted it before you came in here, you're going to check these two guys and make sure these two guys are unchecked. Okay, so now we got the makings of a cell means plot. We just need to change the title and label the axes and we're good to go. So we go to customization <clears throat> and let's give it a title first. This is not a good title. This is a cell means plot. Sometimes also called conditional means plot. Okay. Um, we can tweak some stuff if you like to get your own custom look here. Uh, scroll down a bit and we're going to label the axis, the horizontal axis, that's this guy, are the detergents, right? So, and the vertical axis in a cell means plot are the means. So, and specifically, these are the mean whiteness readings. Remember, that was our variable, right? Okay, and everything else we should probably be fine with. So we could just hit OK, or insert rather, down here, and it'll insert it. We could resize it, move it around, and analyze it. Okay, good. Okay, there's my table that created this, right? This is attached to that. All right. So, uh, actually, one thing you might want to do, you might want to put little um, pointers there. So, if you ever want to change anything in your chart, you could click uh, here and get a quick edit. Or, you can also go to Customize. So, click here and get a quick edit. If you right click on it, you also will be able to access some of these. Go, let's go to advanced edit. That'll bring us back to that menu. So if you need to change anything or you don't like what you're looking at, you can get back to those options we just had by right clicking on the chart and saying advanced edit. So let's uh, actually get dots um, or markers. So you see here we got a series we could do all lines simultaneously or we could look at individual lines this is the line thickness the point size it says none we're gonna make these a little bigger than the thickness of the line and you could change um, other uh, options like the shape but that's fine I want those points because those points are what we're gonna talk about now okay so provided you're looking at this plot let's now analyze this plot is going to help us to understand the interaction. Okay, we already saw that there is significant there is significant interaction between detergents and water temperatures. Okay, so let's see what the deal is. So let's just look at one detergent at a time. So let's look at detergent A. Detergent A seems to perform best because this axis is the whiteness reading, right? So a higher whiteness reading means a better performance, right? So detergent A seems to perform best here. And what is this? Hot, right? So it seems to perform best in hot temperature and seems to perform wor worst in warm temperature water, okay? And it does so-so in cold, all right? So that's far as detergent A. So if I'm using detergent A, I'm going to choose hot water setting. Okay? Let's go to detergent B. Detergent B seems to be slightly better in cold water than in hot water, but the difference here is nowhere near as dramatic as the difference here. Right? So you could argue that detergent B, it doesn't really matter what water temperature you use. There's no real big difference. Okay? How about detergent C? Here you could see it's quite dramatic. With detergent C, I'm definitely choosing either warm or cold water, and I'm staying away from hot water with detergent C because it does the worst. Compare this 
level of whiteness reading to this level, right? Now we could look at it another way. We could just say, okay, how about if I have a I have a laundry uh, a, a machine, I have a washing machine rather, that only uses hot water. Well, which laundry detergent would you use? You definitely wouldn't use laundry detergent C. I would choose laundry detergent A for hot water. How about if you don't have hot water? That might most likely be the case. You have, uh, let's say you have, to cho you, your choice is cold water. Well, what would you choose? Clearly, Laundry detergent C outperforms the other detergents when it's used with cold water. And the same goes for warm water, right? So uh, laundry detergent B seems to do average compared to the other two with all types of water. So it seems to be the most versatile, but it doesn't really blow either of them out of the water in any particular water temperature. So there is interaction. In other words, we're saying it depends. You can't just tell me that laundry detergent A is better than laundry detergent C or anything else like that. What you can tell me is, hey, it depends. If you're going to use hot water, definitely go with laundry detergent A over C. If you're going to use cold water, the laundry detergent C is definitely the way to go. And the same goes for warm water. Okay? So the cell means plot unravels that interaction term for us um, and gives us actual uh, contextual thing we can say okay uh, we can understand that interaction better all right so hopefully in this video you learn how to make the plot and interpret it all right so part one and part two uh, of this series showed you I showed you how to do a two-way ANOVA with replication starting with just this data okay this very simple piece of data and we were able to do all this and answer a whole bunch of questions um, uh, using Excel Miner and Google Sheets functionality with its charts and so forth alright so I hope this was helpful um, be sure to watch the series I did where I spent a little more time discussing the theory and stating the hypothesis tests for two-way ANOVA. All right, so until next time, have a great day.